It's Beth, welcome back to my channel. Did you really think I was just gonna post a serious K-pop dance cover without showing you how I learned it, how I picked out the outfits, the makeup, and basically vlog the whole behind the scenes? Because if you did, here's an extra few minutes of all that. Well, it'd probably be more than a few minutes, but you can click away or you can keep watching. So for those who know me, you're probably like, why is she doing a K-pop dance cover? Because I've never really been into K-pop music and I've always been a bit like, mm, about K-pop dancing. But I think a month ago, my friend sent me a link to the dance practice of this song. And he said, oh, I don't think he said anything. I think he just sent me the link. But I've had a few people, <laughs> a few as in like three, tell me that I kind of look like her. I don't really see it, but I'll take it. So I was watching the video and I thought, why not try learn it? Because I feel like K-pop dance is just like another style of dance and it's always good to try out new things. And that's just basically how I decided to do this video. I don't know if this is going to be the start of me listening to K-pop songs because like, as I said before, I've never been into it. But I think if my friends just keep like sending me K-pop songs, I'll end up listening to them because that's just me with like music. If people send me music, I'll listen to it and be like, yeah, yeah, that's great. And then just like keep listening to it. Anyway, enough rambling and explaining myself. Hopefully you would have already seen the actual dance cover before this but as I'm filming this before the actual dance cover itself because I haven't learned it let's learn the choreo okay so I've watched the video a few times and I think I kind of get the gist of it but I'm just gonna do the same thing I did in my last video which I'll link up here where I search it up on YouTube maybe find the mirrored version and just start and stop it a load of times maybe change the speed and just learn it off of the YouTube dance practice video <laughs> How does her, her hands, what, <laughs> was that English? Wait, I need to watch that slowly. Right kick. Left, right, swing, round, jump, boom, ta, ah, mm, ah. <laughs> All these dancer sounds are really coming out now. Down, look, down, down. Ah, pam, pam, shum, ba, dum, da. Stop, look, listen. <laughs> Throw back to my, Solo in like 2013 or 14? Was it 15? Doesn't matter. Anyway, stop over there. Listen. So they step on the left leg. So after dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, I'll put my weights on my left leg. What if I went dun 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 dun? Problem solving. <laughs> Way. 
drawn it oh, away. <laughs> what was that? Uh -huh. <laughs> so in the day to night dance performance where they're all in white, sort of boom, boom, pa, pa, they go boom, boom, pa, pa. I don't know if I should go with the one that has more arms because it was uploaded earlier than the other one. So maybe they had changed it to just like a simpler version. I think I have the dance down. So now I'm going to pick out the outfits I'm going to wear. So watching the music video and the dance practice video, all of the outfits are either black or white or sparkly. I don't think I own anything sparkly or like K-pop worthy for a sparkly outfit. There's like a few outfit changes in the music video. So I'm thinking maybe I should do two black outfits, two white outfits, and then a black and white outfit. For the black and white outfit, I mean, you would have already seen this like at the very beginning of the video, but I think I'm gonna go with the outfit that I wore for the Roar relaunch event thing that I went to. And I vlogged it, so I'll put it up here if you wanna watch that. Let's see what I have. So for the first black outfit, I found this top that has a cutout. So that's pretty similar to what the dancers were wearing, except it is a short sleeve instead of a long sleeve. And I'm gonna pair it with some shorts and probably some knee-high boots. For the white outfits, I only have one pair of white bottoms, so I'm thinking of pairing this with two different white tops. So this is a white milkmaid frilly kind of top, and this is just like a normal white tank top. I mean, I could wear a jumpsuit for my second black outfit because I have a few black jumpsuits that I really like and would work well as a costume. And I think I have a white jumpsuit somewhere. I remember buying it, but obviously never wore it. But I think a white jumpsuit will work way better than just the same white jeans and two different white tops for my white outfits. So I'm gonna take those out and adjust anything that needs adjusting. Now I'm gonna go onto the music video and just screenshot the different makeup looks so I can match them with the outfits that I've picked. <laughs> As you can see, they're all on my bed behind me. So I know for the white outfits, she had a pinkish kind of eye look and that's gonna be really easy to recreate. And for the hair, I'm gonna add some pearl bobby pins because I don't have any gold bobby pins because obviously my hair is black. For the first black outfit, which is right there, I think I'm gonna do the gem makeup look with the red lip and two pigtails down here. I'm gonna look so weird in that hairstyle, but that's the look. For the black jumpsuit, I think I'm gonna go with the makeup look with the ring thing here. I don't have a ring for my lips so I'm just gonna put some white eyeliner and hopefully that works out and then for the last black and white outfit that I have I'm gonna go with the colorful eye look that she has at the very end where she's wearing a sparkly dress but this one she also has some gemstones and they are gold but I only have silver ones so I'm just gonna use that again for this look I might curl my hair I don't really know it depends on if I have time and the order that I'm gonna film all these different looks and sections of the dance and now I just got to figure out which section is what section and kind of do my own filming schedule like in a music video wow I'm putting so much thought and effort into this video but I'm gonna have to figure out because of the makeup and like making sure I go from the lightest to the darkest and also like figuring out the hair and also making sure that the transitions between the outfits are good. So I'm gonna figure that out and then you will see me either putting on the makeup or already downstairs filming. And bam, I look like a completely different person. So as you can see, I am doing the white outfits first because I'm gonna use the same pink makeup for both of the outfits. And then I can just add on more makeup for the other outfits. So let's try this out. All right, and here's another look. It is the white jumpsuit. I actually tucked this in because the legs were way too long. So I had to use this belt to cover that up. Let's just hope that this stays as I dance. I'm not sure if that will happen, but this is the second white outfit. Honestly, that first white outfit took way too long to film. So hopefully after doing it so many times just now, as this is the same chorus choreography, hopefully this one goes a lot smoother and a lot faster. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay, so I almost didn't film a whole section because I forgot the ending of this bit was still in this outfit. So like I thought it was with the next outfit. Gosh, what is this hair doing? But that's a wrap on this look. Oh my gosh, that took so long. So I'm gonna go back upstairs, put on different makeup and do all the black outfits. Cool, so this is the first look and I've added in a chain belt just because I felt like the all black outfit was a bit too plain. Here is a little close up of the eyes. I really like the gemstones on the lid. I feel like it just looks so cool. So yeah, it's time to dance. So this is the fourth look. I'm speaking really quietly right now because it is 3 a.m. Honestly, I'm putting so much effort into this video and I don't even know if I'll like the final product, but as you can see, I just put a white liner to pretend there's a ring there. 
and let's dance. So I'm in the final outfit and I don't know why I thought I'd be able to curl my hair. I just added in some clip-on earrings to make it look a little bit more edgy. And I'm just gonna hope that these gems stay on because in the other look, the gems kept coming off because of how much I was sweating. But this is the final look. I just wanna get this done over with and then start editing. So let's dance. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, so I literally filmed throughout the night and the morning. So I've tidied up downstairs and I'm gonna have to tidy up this room after I film this outro because it literally looks like a quick change room if I had like 15 quick changes. Like it's gonna take a while to put everything back in its place and clean everything up. Well, it's time to go to bed and edit it tomorrow and see if it's any good. So I hope you enjoyed this video and my dance cover of Chung Ha's Day Tonight. If you did, give this video a like. If you wanna see more content from me, be sure to subscribe and if you want to find me on social media, all my socials are at xbethanychanx and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!